Are you wondering if a PC build or a pre-built PC is the better choice for you? Well, on this video you will find out whether you should buy a PC build or a pre-built PC depending on your case. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money to spend or you're working on a tight budget because we will go over different budgets as well. That being said, let's start. So first, we are going to go over the pros for PC builds and probable PCs. We are going to start with probable PCs and the first pro being that it doesn't take time. Now, time might be something that you value a lot because maybe you're busy doing businesses with school, with college, whatever the reason might be, if you value time, then a probable PC might be the best option. But of course, we have to go over other pros for probable PCs and also other pros for PC builds because maybe you value something more than just your time. The second pro is that you don't need to learn about components. Now, of course, it's recommended to watch videos for you to see which one is the best system for gaming. So I recommend you learning about components in general. That way you get the right CPU for the GPU and you won't bottleneck your system as well with other components that are important for a gaming PC. But at the same time, you don't have to learn how to install a GPU, how to install a motherboard, CPU, all of this stuff, you don't have to learn it if you buy a pre system, which might be a pro for you, because once again, maybe you don't have the time to learn, or you just don't want to do that. And the last pro, but definitely not least, is the customer support. If anything fails, they got you covered, and you don't have to see what went wrong on your system like you do on a PC build to figure out the problem with the system. You just contact the customer support and they will tell you what to do instead. Now let's go with PC build pros. The first pro, and in my opinion, the most important one, is that it's cheaper and has better performance in most cases. Now there are some previous systems that are actually cheaper than the PC build, but it's not usual. That being said, a previous PC that you can find at around $1200, you can buy it for 800 bucks on the PC build market. So if price to performance is something that you value a lot and you want to save money while getting better performance, then there's no doubt PC builds are going to be the best option for you. The second pro is that once you build the PC build, you will get much more knowledge about systems. Like I mentioned on the Preble PCs pros, because maybe you don't want to learn about components. In on this case, if you build your PC at the end, you will be a more knowledgeable person because you know about computers. Now, not necessarily you will know which one is the best CPU, the best GPU, or the best GPU, but you will know on how to build a system and in case something goes wrong and you figure out what went wrong, you will learn much more than if you buy just a pre-built PC. And the last pro is that you choose the components that fit your needs. If you are, for example, a content creator, maybe you find a pre-built PC that's really good, but you don't get to choose the components, meaning that maybe you wanted a different component for some of them, so you don't get to choose it all, which is actually a pro on the PC build system. So now let's answer the question, should you buy a pre-built PC or should you buy a PC build? Now, the simple answer is that it depends. If you have less than $500, a PC build is highly recommended, mainly because the pre-built PC market at that price point is actually not good and you will be getting a previous system that doesn't perform the way that you want it to. So unless you play games like Minecraft and Roblox, I would avoid any previous PC under 500 bucks. Now, if you have between 500 to 800 dollars, a PC build is still strongly recommended, but at this price point, there are some previous PCs that are not a bad deal. So if you really want to go with a previous PC for the reasons I mentioned previously, that is totally fine. And then if you have more than $800, it really comes down to the pros and cons that I mentioned. In my opinion, I would take a look back at all of the pros for both private PCs and PC builds and figure out what you value the most. Is it time? Is it money? It really depends on your financial situation. Now, if you're open to either build it yourself or buy a private system, we all know that PC builds are almost always the best option in terms of price performance so that is what i recommend you doing but once again if you really value something like time then the preble system is by far going to be the best option for you now in my case i recently built a pc myself because i'm a content creator i needed a pc for both content creation and gaming and the preble pcs i found on the market were not only overpriced but they usually come with some components that i do not like on my system so Either way, I would have to open the PC itself and change some components, so 
why not just build it myself, get a system that is cheaper and it's going to perform better for my needs. So that is what I recommend you doing guys. Now on my channel you will have a ton of videos for PC builds and private PCs for you to find the right system and if you don't want to see the videos I totally understand. I also have a website where you can find it pretty easily just by clicking on your budget and your favorite game you will have either a private PC or a PC build for you. And if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content which I do from 3 to 5 times a week. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.